Good morning and welcome to this service of Holy Eucharist. My name is Leslie Hay. I'm a priest in the Episcopal Church in Maryland. And it's lovely to be here again to celebrate with you. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be his kingdom now and forever. Almighty God, to you all hearts are open, all desires known, and from you no secrets are hidden. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord have, mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. The Collect for Today. Almighty God, the fountain of all wisdom, you know our necessities before we ask and our ignorance in asking. Have compassion on our weakness and mercifully give us those things which for our unworthiness we dare not and for our blindness we cannot ask through the worthiness of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. A reading from the letter of Paul to the Colossians. Christ is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation. For in him all things in heaven and on earth were created, things visible and invisible, whether thrones or dominions or rulers or powers, all things have been created through him and for him. He himself is before all things, and in him all things hold together. He is the head of the body, the church. He is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, so that he might come to have the first place in everything. For in him all the fullness of God was pleased to dwell, and through him, God was pleased to reconcile to himself all things, whether on earth or in heaven, by making peace through the blood of his cross. And you, who were once estranged and hostile in mind, doing evil deeds, he has now reconciled in his fleshy body through death, so as to present you holy and blameless and irreproachable before him provided that you continue securely established and steadfast in the faith without shifting from the hope promised by the gospel that you've heard, which has been proclaimed to every creature under heaven. I, Paul, became a servant of this gospel and now I'm rejoicing in my sufferings for your sake and in my flesh. I'm completing what is lacking in Christ's affectations for the sake of his body, that is the church. I became its servant according to God's commission that was given to me for you to make the word of God fully known. The mystery has been hidden through the ages and generations but has now been revealed by his saints. To them God chose to make known how great among the Gentiles are the riches of the glory of this mystery which is Christ in you, the hope of your glory. It is he whom we proclaim, warning everyone and teaching everyone in all wisdom, so we present everyone mature in Christ. This is the word of the Lord. Lord. Hear the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to Luke. Now as Jesus and his disciples went on their way, he entered a certain village, where a woman named Martha welcomed him into her home. 
She had a sister named Mary who sat at the Lord's feet and listened to what he was saying. But Martha was distracted by her many tasks, so she came to Jesus and asked, Lord, do you not care that my sister has left me to do all the work by myself? Tell her then to help me. But the Lord answered her, Martha, Martha, you are worried and distracted by many things. There is need of only one thing. Mary has chosen the better part, which will not be taken away from her. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Christ, our Lord. 